Hello and welcome back. Today, we're cleaning sap lines. What we're gonna do, come up to the end of each one of these runs, pop one of the taps out of the cup T, and then I have the tank filling up down there. We'll go up top, hook it in. I've never done this before, so ideally, it'll start at the top, wherever that's at, right there. And then it'll work its way down. It'll go clear down to the bottom, fill in the line up. And then hopefully it'll work its way back up because I plan on only hooking into one and they're separate. So it'll go down there, merge into the three quarter line. And then hopefully there's enough pressure to come back up here. If not, we'll hook in over on the end of this one. Like I said, pop the pop a tee and just stick it in here. Thinking behind that is when I put liquid in the top, the air is gonna have to go somewhere. That'll give a free exit for the air on each one of these. And then hopefully once it as long as it works its way back up top here. We'll have enough head pressure so hopefully it fills these lines back up naturally without uh without me needing to put it on a pump or anything windstorm came through i don't know a couple weeks ago right after we were done i guess it's a good time to get things off the line so they're not sitting on the ground collecting Squirrel holes. Oh, not one handed. Got that off of there. Get this T plugged up. I don't know, maybe I should. Maybe I should unplug these lower ones. I don't know. Time will tell, I guess, huh? Nothing like living and learning. It's alright. We got a couple hours to figure it out. I'm going to be cleaning the lines out with a um, calcium hypochloride, which is like a pool shock, but not. Reason, I don't want this in my lines, but even the pool shock isn't going to cut this. I think I'm going to have to cut this whole section out and just redo it. That's way too much mold. But ideally, the uh, calcium hypochloride will kill everything that's not really, not really visible to the naked eye. Man, I'm doing great with my camera work today, huh? All right, uh, one more in here. All right, a little bit more to go. All right, that'll be the last one for this side because I'm gonna put the water in up here and then it'll zigzag its way down and down the hill. So we'll come over here and pull the ends off of this one. And then we'll go check our water tank and see how that's filling up so we got all the ends pulled off of the lines up top down here at the bottom I just put in a shutoff valve that way when the liquid comes down if it starts to get airlocked I can just let it out until this is full and then right there at that post is where both lines meet so ideally once this is full it'll start pushing it back up so the current plan is start at the top, chase it down. If it starts traveling up the laterals, tap, uh, plug them off and the ends that we just opened, and then we'll follow it all the way down here. And then once it starts working it back up, there's a few, like right where my finger's at. We'll have to plug those because theirs are much lower. The next one's clear up there, so. I don't know, we might have to run back and forth 
chasing it, chasing it up the laterals. But we'll see what happens when we get to there. Let's go check the tank. Tank's about there full. Just pumped up the tires. Now to get it up on the hill. Got the water jug on top of the hill here. Had to make a second trip for the stuff that you conveniently forget at the bottom of the hill. Anyway, got it hooked up. Got a 516 barb on a three quarter, one inch. I think it may be one inch uh, reducer and then into the plastic fitting. Comes out 516 into the line. And we should be good to go. Let's open the valve and see what happens. Oh yeah, you can see it shooting through there. Going down the line. Got that jiggles. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Ah, oh, sure. As soon as I put it up there, it's gone. Oh, over there. It's going quick. I might have to stop recording and get running. Oh yeah, she's already got this full. All right, I'll check back in when I figure out what it's doing. Well, I didn't make it too far. I just made it to this first one from the tank. Turns out I just got ahead of it. but it's not going up to that one yet, so I think I was right on it just traveling down the main line first. There you can see it going into the big one. Well, well, if it's not going up that first chute, we should be good down to the bottom. So we'll meet back up down there, unless something's different, and see what woo, happens down there. All right, again, we didn't make it very far. This is the last run on the very top line, and it's trying to come up. Got bubbles. Let's see. All right, I think that's where the pressure's gonna end. Maybe. All right, as long as it's not gonna start blowing out random pops. Let's get down to the bottom and stop making stops and see what we got. Made it down here to the bottom. You can see it coming in pretty good. So we'll see what happens if it's gonna fill this line. I think it is. Let's crack this open and see what pressure we get. Maybe wrong way. A little bit. Just leave that open a little bit. Up here it comes. See right there. Alright. Get that. There's that full. <clears throat> All right, go up there and see what it's doing. All right, as expected, you can see this one is coming in. Maybe it focuses. This one's going to the left, and this one's going to the right. So as long as it keeps doing that, we'll be all right. I'm gonna go up here and check these ones. It appears I ran too fast. You can see these white spots here. Nothing's happening yet. That one doesn't have anything coming out of it. Oh, here it comes. Been standing here for like a minute. So we're getting there. I'm just thinking it's moving it too fast. I am gonna stay down here and get this one done because before it has pressure to go back up the hill, it's gonna 
do this one and that one so or at least it should do that one we'll see all right we got stuff going up all right so the plan is uh i think right now we're just i think right now we're just gonna fill the lines and then we'll come back through and fill all of the others that way that way i'm not wasting a ton of time oh it's still coming i gonna say where the heck uh that way we're not wasting time and water doing each of them now trying to keep up with it we'll just fill it that way the pressure's there and then we can fill them all when we get there come on it's almost here all right we'll let it blow that white garbage out you look at it that's gross no oh, i can't even really focus on it of course not ready All right, we'll let that run a little bit, and we'll just stick it right back in there. All right. Uh -huh. Can't can't decide if it's gonna come out up top here. On the other side of the dam. I think it's going to come out on the other side of the dam. Next. Oh, it hasn't. It hasn't even started now. Yeah, it's just now starting to go up the pipe. I don't know. Let's go see where it stops on this one. Up here. Oh, it might go clear up here. Watch, I'll get up almost to the end and it'll be like, nah, we're going to the other side now. It's about how it works, right? Oh, I think I passed it again. Like I said, we're almost there too. Let's see where it stopped. Oh, got chunks moving. Yep, I just got ahead of it again. That'll be fine for a minute. Standing up here looking, I'm pretty sure it's probably going out the other side. Oh, who knows? All right, I'll get back to you guys when I figure out what I'm doing. All right, this is the one I was expecting it to be coming out of already, but you can kind of see the white chunks passing past that T, so we're just gonna come back over here to this other side and wait. And we'll come to this side of the dam when we're done over here. All right, the other side was moving really slow. So I decided to come back over and this one's running like a stuck pig. So get this one plugged and hopefully we can get things moving a little bit better over here. Then we'll come back over here. Boy, this is turning into an exercise program, huh? Man. All right. Well, I went to go back to the other side of the dam and I looked over here and this one's already running. So we will plug this one. <clears throat> All right. Now we'll go to the other side of the dam. there for a while I was like man am I gonna outrun this thing the whole day and now I can't keep up with it unfun need another set of hands or two it's all right I don't think I missed it by much so get this one plugged now we can go back to the other side of the dam get that done I did remember that 
one of the lines that I put uh, the pressure gauge in. I don't have a tap on that, so I need to run up there and check that and see what tap I need because I use different T's on them, so I need to know which T I have. Put the right tap on it, get it plugged off. But of course, I left that clear up at the tank. So more exercise. Well, turns out this one has a giant plug for the T, so that 5 16 line just sits right on there. We won't have to put a tap on it. Well, now that we know we don't need a tap, let's go find out where the water's running at now. Probably the other side. Why wouldn't it be the other side? All right. Uh, onward. Well, this is the next one up from where I started, elevation-wise. So, where do you guys think it's running out at? Every once in a while I can smell a little bit throughout the woods. And I can still see it going down that bottom line. So, whoop, maybe we just haven't got there yet. Still building pressure. I didn't pull the, this one because I knew it would be a problem almost immediately, so we'll do this one now. Woo! Get that washed out. <laughs> Plug that back up. Oh. All right. Back to waiting, I guess. See where I have to be next. Should be right there. Still see bubbles going up to it. Needs to hurry up. Supposed to be getting rain here in the next maybe hour. Hopefully, hopefully two hours. Should be able to get this side done in two hours. And just sitting right there. Whoop. Here comes more. And just sits there. Come on. And you don't see wet spots anywhere else. And those trees are way higher, I think. Alright, new plan. This hasn't moved. It's probably been two minutes. So I'm going to start filling these lines, going down, fill them up, see what I can find. I think it just needs to build pressure. I can still see the bubbles traveling down. One very slowly traveling up that T. So I think it's still just building pressure. We'll have to, we'll have to walk the line and see what we got. Maybe some of these taps are loose in their buckets and leaking or something so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll let you know if I find anything oh, well that could be a problem thought this one was lower than or higher than that one over there but get that junk out of it oh well but it's been running a while that's probably why I haven't gained anything over there I'm loving getting it all over me though, that's awesome. All right, let's go, keep working. I will say this is working much better than I expected it to. I was kind of scared that I might have to hook a pump up to it or something, but looks like it's gonna work out really well. I just need to be in more places at one time, or not even so much that, It needs. To, I need to know where I need to be either the left side of the ravine or the right side you just can't like I got all the drops up to there done but the water hadn't made it to there but now I have to go clear back this thing isn't focusing clear back over there to find out where it's at now actually I think I'll probably go up here first I don't know see stuff like that you just don't know is it running down the back side of the tree or 
has it not made it there yet and it's running out somewhere else higher up oh the joys of learning all right well it's still sitting here so that means it's blowing out somewhere up there oh yay go find it maybe i'll hit that drop on the way i don't know I'll come up here and see how high it is up here if it's not high enough for that one back there it's not high enough for these but don't know unless you look oh yeah right there's bubble all right let's get this one done Oop. Oh my, look at all that growth in there. And my favorite part, you put it back there and get sprayed. Oh yeah. Oh. Alright. Oh. Maybe it's going out of Oh I didn't do that one yet, man. Ugh. Look at the growth in that tea. I think this one's two years old. I guess that's what happens when it's a, a one year use tea and you use it twice, huh? All kinds of chunks in there. Oh well, hopefully we'll get them cleaned out. I just tapped that one over there cleaned up these ones over here and wait for it to come up here figure that'd be next nope look over there and it's running out that one my word this thing is really starting to kick my butt taking all the paths at least resistance we're way up the hill from where I figured we would be and because it doesn't want to push out the second line it has started to blow out all of these first lines, so oh, now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna be next. We did it. Got all the lines filled, all the drops. Everything's done. I did only go through a little bit of water. It was about that bar when I don't know, probably just behind that bar when I started. So, it's a little bit of water, but that's fine. That gives me, what, almost two and a half bars still of head pressure. That way when I go over there and I don't have as much fall, I still have some pressure in the head. So, that'll help out with that. And this tank needed cleaned out anyways. So, it's cleaning the tank as as we clean the lines. Things I learned. I would recommend having two people if uh, you have uh, laterals on that side of the ravine and this side of the ravine. Even, even if, oh my word, words. Even if you don't have, even if you don't have things split up, probably a good idea to have two people if you have as many laterals as I do because, well, knowing which side is going to run out of and then running back and forth and then waiting so you start working on drops and then you're like why am i not getting any pressure and then you have to go chase down the ends again if you had somebody out on the outside keeping track of your ends and then somebody on the inside working on the uh drops you probably get done a lot faster keep your pressure up better Alrighty, guys i hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up uh, share it let's see what else leave a comment even a thank you for the video or something you've seen that I did wrong that you would change that would make it better that would be greatly appreciated being that this is my first time doing it so you know next year when I do it again it goes better I still have another hundred taps to go but I figure one video on the same thing would probably be more than enough well i guess that's all i have for today so have a good one